Hi there and welcome back to my channel and thank you so much for returning to my channel. If this is your first time here, hello. <laughs> I am Kitty and guys and please do subscribe to my channel so you can see more videos from me. In this video on my channel, we are all about glow mans. We are taking it up a notch with the glow and we are a really exploring the power of makeup and this is what i came up with we are going to be creating this lovely look with the main focus being on contouring and highlighting so le let me not waste your time or any more of your precious time and let's get started with this look as you can see my eyebrows are already done and for that i'll leave a link in the video description below so you can either choose the shesha pro which is the technique i used in for this look or the insta pro so first of all i am gonna prep my face by putting on my sunscreen lotion Just a little dollop does go a long way just gonna apply that. I've already moisturized my skin by the way. Next, I'm gonna prep my eyes. I'm gonna be using this um my LA Girl Pro Concealer in the shade Fawn just to prep my eyes. And I'm just gonna quickly do my eyes in like go for a very nude uh eyeshadow color because in this video of the power of makeup i really wanted to focus on contouring and um highlighting i'm gonna go in with this bys contour trio um i remember i also got it at the beauty revolution face and i'm gonna go for this cheek color <music> because we all about the beauty first whilst we add this look i'm gonna use one of the products i got um in my goodie bag which is the switch beauty prime prime time kit for your lips just to prep my lips i don't know what it feels like but it's yeah i think i'm gonna take it off way too early so for prepping my skin i also remembered one of the me products i got from um my goodie bag and this is the benefit the professional pearl primer so i'm just gonna put a little dollop spread it all over my face people speak very highly of this uh primer because i'm going for a very natural glow look I'm gonna go in with uh, my um, Maybelline Master Strubbing Strubbing Stick. It's an illuminating highlighter just here. <music> So that is done and for foundation today that is the that is the lip prepping gel from this um, prime time lip kit from switch beauty it's a bit sticky now I wonder if you rub it off yeah I think you rub it off it feels like dead skin yeah, I'm just going to wipe that off quickly with a wet wipe because it looks a bit disgusting. Girl, this is great when you're doing lipstick period because there's nothing worse than a uh, lipstick on cracked lips or not. Like you, it's, it, it feels like an exfoliating product just to prep those lips properly. So, um whilst i'm on the lip case i'm just gonna go in with number two which is the lip, lip priming band bam 
Bam. <lacht> Baum. <lacht> Baum. <lacht> yeah, the lip painting number two step. So, uh, I'm gonna apply our uh, lips. I think I took too much product. Yeah, I did. Feels great. So now that that step is done, uh, for foundation today, I'm gonna use uh, the Wet and Wild folk, uh, Photo Focus Foundation, and it is it is in the shade Coco. So I'm just gonna roughly apply that all over. <laughs> And this is the first coat of my foundation, which I will be applying roughly with this foundation brush. So um, after the first application of uh, my foundation, um, it's, it's very good coverage, but I can still see some of my marks which is nothing new so i'm just gonna go in with a light second coat just to seal everything out now i'm gonna be highlighting and covering up my dark under circles and for that i will be using my concealer in the shade cool 10 for my under eye area um so i'm just gonna blend that out using my foundation brush i'm gonna take my one of the fluffiest smallest brush i have and i'm just gonna go in there and set my under eye area and for that i'm using the makeup revolution luxury powder now that my under eye area is Set. I'm gonna set the rest of my face with the same product and with like I'm gonna be, take very little product and just blush it all over my skin I like the matte feel on my skin like especially when it comes to my foundation uh, what I like baking is my nose so taking the tip of my blend uh, beauty sponge I am going to just take that product and just highlight that area your natural lighting is destroying this masterpiece but anyway what can you say we must invest in proper lighting so we don't have such problems okay i think i'm gonna start contour contouring my nose this is the maybelline fit fit me oh man sweet in the shade cinnamon uh and i'm just gonna use that to contour my nose um whilst i'm at it i forgot to do this i i want to pinch in my nose a bit more which is something I usually don't do but because my nose just feels and looks just yeah, look so much fuller nowadays I just want to pinch in that nose area So while well, I also kind of snatch that nose and towards the tip of my nose, I kind of go in a V shape. 
Anywho, I'm going to go in and go contour the rest of my face. I'm going to take a mini version of my powder brush. Not sure if it is a contour brush, but I use it as my contour brush. You don't leave it like that. I'm just trying to show you what it does but this is obviously how you're not gonna you're not gonna go out having this line no you're gonna properly blend it out you wanna also blend the product in circular motion so that you know it's not just a line and i also like curving it here just so ooh, excuse, just so that it you know um it oh man see what does it do yeah it it kind of creates a cheek a high cheekbone for me you know like, you know just somewhere it there and then i also like pushing the product right at the beginning of my hairline obviously when contouring you have to go with your face shape and i think i have a more oval but it's becoming more round because of um the whole pregnancy swelling but otherwise here yeah. and this part most people like highlighting because they like to bring it forward and show people like i got a chin so with me, it's like, no honey, I've got enough chin, I'm not adding some more, it's fine. So this is an extra step, I don't do it. But today, because we're all about the contour, I am going to be doing it. Um, a nice product as well is a bronzer. And one of my first bronzers was this by Avon. It's oh, Avon Glow Browsing, Browsing Pearl and they look something like this but they're small now so um if you guys still have these bronzing pearls you can also go in there just to soften a bit your um your contouring actually i wasn't supposed to use this i was just supposed to show you guys that this is the bronzer i used to use uh, the bronzer that I'm supposed to be using today is this one by BYS. Uh, it doesn't say any shade, it just says bronzing powder. So um, this has a nice sheen to it. So I'm just going to lightly go over my contouring with this bronzer. <laughs> that is enough baking for one day let me just quickly remove all that powder Ooh. see over baking eh? i'm gonna go in with this sweet cheeks bys face palette and they've got this nice highlighting gold but I was going to go in with this one because, you know, I just want that natural glow. I was going to go with this one here from Makeup Revolution. But I don't know. With blush, I don't want to go too strongly because I want this look to be a more glow look. So I'm just going to pick up that one. Like, I'm afraid of just overdoing it because it's going to Oh, that is good. I was saying I was afraid of just overdoing it with the blush. Then this is not going to be like a natural glowy kind of look. So there we go. We can even go in with a highlighter from this very same palette. And I'm going to go for the more bronzy highlighter if I can find 
my baby fan brush just pick out the product and Mm, 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 mm. This went from natural to, yeah, to a glow, like, yo. Guys, are you seeing this? <laughs> oh, because yeah, this is way too much. This is way too much. Um, I think I'm going to go for the goldish nana. A more lighter goldish for the tip of my nose. Ah! And just a bit. Oh, that is not a bit. That is bring it on. And I'm gonna, I'm even afraid to go with the same fan brush because now it has so much product and I'm just gonna buff it out just make it look more natural because now I look like the goddess of glow so I took the, the darker gold color and I'm just gonna I'm gonna do my cupid oh i like how this look is coming through um for my eye area because it looks very pale and i don't want to go in with a very harsh um what you call this dark liner i'm gonna go use this dark brown um what's this called i pomade by eye lure so i'm not even gonna can I use this as a liner? No, I want to use my eyebrow definer brush. So I'm just gonna line that area. My eye areas are really not the focus of this whole look. But I do want the focus to be on the glow. So I'm going to go back in with some glow. Believe it or not. And I'm going to go in with that lighter gold color. This one. I'm just going to use this corner and just pick up a bit of that product. And... Highlight the inner corner. So what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna put on a pair of eyelashes My wig and then we're gonna set it with some setting spray and come to the end of this look so For my lips today. I'm gonna be using another product that I got from the um, Beauty Revolution Fest goodie bag And this is the old woman lip liner plus lip crayon from Fashini. I wonder if they make this product because if I love it, I would want it in more colors. Okay. Beyond Words is the shade. So I'm going to start off by lining my lips with this part of the whole combo. So now I'm going to go in with the crying part of this. lip combo I wonder if I should put a bit of gloss over it since this is a glow look let let's finish it off with the gloss and this is another product I got from my goodie bag from the Beauty Revolution Fest. The Almost Forgotten Week is on. So, anyway, I hope you really enjoyed this very glow-mantic look. This very um, natural glow kind of look. And I hope 
um, you're gonna try it and you really liked it and please um, give me some suggestion of what would what you would like to see on this channel and um, a thumbs up obviously if you enjoyed this content and if you haven't subscribed why haven't you please do thank you very much for watching till this point tai tai